Hi people, welcome back to CK World and today we are going to discuss on the touch UI part. So I will show you what uh, how exactly touch UI differs from the classical UI and what exactly is the uses, how you can author your website through the touch UI. So let's start quickly on this. Um, suppose if you are logged into your local machine and uh, whenever you logged in you will be redirected to the projects.html first thing first most important thing is that i have been uh, i have upgraded my am to am6 earlier it was am 5.6.1 so am6 you will be having the touch ui by default so let me open any of the website here if i will open the website suppose the geometrics shape I need to go to the sites. I'm going to open this website. So you can see here are small small tabs uh, whenever I hover on these settings. So what are they like? Open in edit mode, view properties, copy, move, publish. Great. So most of the features are already listed in the touch UI. You can um, access them through the main website itself, through the main page itself, and you can publish or unpublish. Let me open this website quickly. How exactly it looks like. Alright, so this is the website part. From here till the end, it's website part, and the top end is the touch UI part. So, as you can see, the options are a bit different. You can see the pencil uh, configuration sign, then dot dot. Let me start from the help. Uh, you, uh, you can access your profile from here. So right now I'm logged in as admin. What are the properties I have? I can change the language. I can change the multiple windows, windows management. Then again, I do have the feature called um, touch optimized default or the classical UI. I will use this one later on. Now let's move on to the second part that is the pencil mode. It's nothing but the edit mode right now it's in the site is open in the edit mode if I will click on the preview mode I won't be having any option of editing so then there are other modes like annotate developer and targeting so let me get back to my edit mode first because I have to use components here okay this option is providing you the option to publish or unpublish your website to log the page go back to the classical UI Clicking on this will bring you back on your classical UI. So this was the thing how earlier the website was looking like. Earlier you were having the options, you were having the component sidekick and this side all the components are listed in the sidekick and this side all the assets are there. So to change or to use any of the components, how we were doing it, we were simply place dragging it here we could have used any of the components right now I use the text component just to briefly example small example of this so the result looks like this when I go back to the touch UI how I can use the components so to use the component make sure that you do have this option as clicked one if you are in the preview mode go back to the edit mode click the here and then in from the assets you are having all the assets to pick up from components you are having all the components this one is a component group so okay so uh, this one is having the components now I will be using the text component here I clicked on the text dragged it up to here it's now available let's click on this what are the options first option is edit second is configure copy cut delete insert and group so you can change the group, you can insert if anything is required here. Uh, you can change the font styles also. You can make it to bold. I think I type anything. Alright. You can configure here. You can the little component style if you are providing any component style there will be an option to choose the styles from here then there is an option of copy this component cut delete insert and group so let me delete this one the last for this one you can delete it 
So this one was how exactly it looks like when we are working on the components or altering the website through touch here. Okay, one last thing, how quickly to go back to the classical mode from this touch UI mode. So, so if you want to go to back to the classical mode, first thing as I have shown you that you can simply go here in the configuration and click the classical UI to convert your website into the touch UI part, uh, sorry, into the classical UI part. You don't have to wait uh, longer. But if you want your entire website to be edited and to be open in the classical mode, how you can do that? So for that you have to go back to the go back to this page click on administrator configuration choose the glass skill accept it all right let's check out the website how exactly it looks like so i open this geometrics demo site and this look is completely into the glass skill ui it's not at all the touch ui part so this is how you can go back to the classical mode for your entire website. If you want to go back to your touch UI mode, then you have to go to the same place, choose the touch UI, accept it. Now open this website again. Alright, so now this website has been opened into the touch UI mode, not into the classical UI mode. So this one was how quickly you can fluctuate, you can switch between your classical mode and your touch UI mode. So I hope you might have understand the uses of touch UI. Please let me know your views and feedback. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.